Guinea's opposition leaders arrived at the Conakry Court of Appeal hoping they would be allowed to go back home. They were in jail for six weeks. On Thursday, a judge decided to free them. Ten members of the National Front for the Defense of the Constitution have been temporarily released while they wait for the start of their appeal next week. It's a feeling of happiness and joy. The law has won and so has liberty. The innocent have been freed. I'm speechless. The opposition leaders were arrested last month inside the home of a former politician who was coordinating anti-government protests. But instead of deterring the movement, their detention prompted hundreds of thousands of demonstrators to take to the streets. Critics fear President Alpha Conde is planning on changing Guinea's constitution so he can run for a third term in 2020. However, this latest court verdict is being seen as a victory for the opposition. I'm so happy, not only because they're free, but because this means justice has begun to repair the past. I hope the appeals court will free them completely because they were detained illegally. Street protests have been systematically banned in Guinea for over a year. The government insists they are a threat to public security, but opponents say it's a tool to silence criticism. <laughs> Opposition leaders have been accused of staging unauthorized protests and of paralyzing the economy of the West African nation. Now, while they prepare for a final decision from the appeals court, tensions remain high. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.